Hello, welcome back to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. This is going to be the final session this evening. I'm just going to drop that down there. So I've got a starting balance of £15. Um, every session I've recorded so far and uploaded, I've managed to generate a profit, a minimum of my targets, and I'm looking to carry on that setup basically. Recently, when I got to when I got to session 14, it started to go a little bit bigger in the terms of returns, which is pretty good. Um, but now I'm going to sort of rein it in a little bit, so I'm not having. I'm going to stick to my targets of four pound or just over. So I'm looking to turn this 209.80 into 213.80. I'll bring you back to this um, sheet if that happens. Or not basically uh, bring up the app so I'm going to use the missing section roulette tool I'm going to input the history of numbers from this table into the tool is it the sound on yep so I've got 33 25 21 5 11 31 19 34 4 19 and then 22 okay so for eight spins this tool is telling me for eight spins it's not hit the top row number nine's just landed so if i'd have placed got my pull my finger out place the bet i would have been on that one that would have been my first win but now i'm tracking a value of six now i can reduce this tracking value down to zero so you can see what highlights blue or intersection numbers highlight and i can increase it greater than six but six is my preferred starting betting balance uh, starting betting value and what that tells me is any outside bet dozen or roll that misses for for um six spins in a row that's what it's going to alert me to of what's happening basically so yeah so that i can also look at the numbers uh to see what is happening and i i can only also use my experience of playing roulette and what numbers go to what numbers on particular tables, in spe especially this one. So 26 is probably going to go to 14, or it's going to go to the neighbour of 26 or 17. So 14, 26, 17 on this table. Right, it's 7. So now I know it didn't go to 14, um, 26 or 17 and it went to number seven i can now use that information to see where this ball is going to go from this position and what i'm working out is when this table is going to start hitting numbers that i'm used to this table hitting then i can start placing my bets and trying to trying to pick up on that and get that hit so Let's see where 7 takes the ball. I'm expecting 13, and it's gone to 32. So the ball is going around the zero neighbours. For the last three spins, it's been 26, 7, 32. So they're quite close to zero neighbours. So that tells me in the last three spins a little bit about what this table is doing at the minute. So I want to see this ball go towards 5 or 6 on this spin because that's my expected number from this spin, 5 or 6. So I want to see how close it is to 6 or the 5. So it's it's closer to the five than it is the six. It's sort of in between. So that now this is likely to go um, to thirteen because I, I don't think this this table is going to the neighbour number of the last number apart from that twenty-two hitting nine in the history, and the nineteen and the four that's already been out in the history. So one two. 
I think this is going to go further away than the neighbour of number 8. So this is going to be 13, I think. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 pockets away from 8. So it's either going to be 13 or it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 24. 13 or 24 is my guesstimation. And it's nowhere near. So this is all telling me that this table is not playing the way um, my expected numbers um, for me to play the inside game. I was trying to sort of pick up on, trying to sort of snipe a, a few numbers that could potentially hit. But if it's not playing that, we don't need to, um, I don't need to continue trying to show and share that. So I already know it's not doing that. So I'm just going to stick to the dozens. So the second dozen's not hit for six spins in a row. So that's my first bet. And there's number 10 from four. Now we've got an intersection. I am going to play this intersection because I think this is going to land. And then this will be an automatic stop if it lands. Oops. Um, so this is the six pound bet it's quite a hefty bet this but this is the bet i would do 15 18 21 24 my jackpot numbers 12 27 under the next best and then 14 17 split 20 23 split are the best next best after that so 4, 15 18 21 24 ideally oh 19 i don't have 19 but it looked like it was a 15 it should have been um, I'm going to repeat that bet in case it goes to the neighbour number of 19 but we don't want to see 4 we do not want to see 4 so this is this has cost me £12 now so I've got to factor that in so I've just repeated the same bet in case it hits a top row number top row is not hit for 7 spins so we're still continuing continuing on the 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 plus the 14, 17, 20, 23 so 15, 18, 21, 24 it was on its way to 15 it wants to hit that 15 I'm seeing it that's what I'm seeing I'll give it a third time lucky I'm also going to cover the 26, sorry, the 7, in case that lands, because that came in in the history, 26 to 7, and that sometimes repeats. So now I'm down at 189.80. These intersection numbers, I can get carried away with these, so I shouldn't really be betting more than once, really. Maybe twice, set a push, but... 15, 18, 21, 24, and 7 again. 5, 24 would have been good. 24 would have been perfect. I couldn't see how it landed in the pocket to determine whether it would have landed properly. So now I'm doing some pot shots really of numbers that I think could hit. So 5 could be a repeat. 24 is the neighbour of 5 that could hit. It could go across to 15, that could hit, or it could go to number 26, which is the number before the 5. 7. Shit. That was another number. I was at, that was in my radar as, radar as well, for fuck's sake. Am I going to blow my door here? Probably. 9. 21. I'm just doing two numbers now. 9 and 21. Three pound per number, nine twenty one. I've got one hundred and seventy five eighty left. Nine, nine or twenty one for a hit. Twenty three. I wouldn't have had twenty three. So you can see, it's eleven spins. It's not hit the top roll. Twenty three is a fresh number, so we're going to go with a big bet. on here so any top row number to hit if it's 3, 15 or 30 we're good 3, 15, 30 
boom, three, sweet. That's a really good number to hit on. I've got in profit. I need to, I've got to where I need to be. I am going to stop. It was a bit of a risky manoeuvre betting as much as I did. I should have just stuck to the small stakes, really. That's what I should do going forward from this point onwards. Just do 50 pen stakes or um, 10 pen stakes because I can clearly build my balance from that anyway. So I used the missing section roulette tool again there to drain, generate profit and I did. It happened. So I got to 228.80. Um, I'm going to now change. I'm going to sorry, bring up the sheet and input this. 228.80. £19 profit, wanted to make four, so I'm smashing my targets. This is 20th session, I'm now in profit by 213.80. Started with 15 quid, I'm at 228.80, 213.80 profit, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to set this up for the next session. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. Um, oh, this has to equal that now, doesn't it? So session start so that's that's ready for the next session 21 tomorrow so uh, in fact let me undo that I'll do that tomorrow okay thanks for tuning in I hope you're enjoying the content um, I'll be back tomorrow with more content see you soon